Well, we're going to talk about Sunday's big game. Well, I mean, even though it was a big game, it wasn't. I mean, I didn't watch it. Luckily, I went to a food and drink festival and was worried I'm going to miss an absolute crack here. Liverpool versus Man City, which has been great matches over the last couple of years. But uh, it was all square at full time. I was only expecting at the start of the game, Joe. But what happened? It was all square at full time. But it could have been a defeat for Liverpool. But thanks to Riyad Mahrez thinking he was playing rugby, he uh, kicked it over the crossbar. So what happened? Is there three points for a conversion, or am I wrong? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't follow rugby. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was... Uh, NFL, what's that? One point if it's after a touchdown? If it's after a touchdown, it's one point, but then if it's a field goal, then it's three points. Yeah. Oh, so three points in uh, it's NFL. A, it's drop, drop kick in rugby union, three points kick. Uh, and then is it two from Go, a penalty two, or something Two like from that? a try. Two from a try. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Simon Porter's just I, confirmed. You can tell I never played rugby at school. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, basically the game... I thought you were like a rugby, a rugby I legend, thought you, you were, know, the school. I thought you were oh, the yeah. captain you of know. the school, you know. You, you know. can tell by myself. <laughs> 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 uh, basically, with the game, it was basically two teams that counted each other out. They, they had opportunities in the final third, but never really took a Mo Salah, he's starting to get there. His pace was... Like people said that he was in Mendy's pocket. I think he was troubling Mendy at times in the game yesterday, but Mendy was able to deal with him if that made sense. You, he was never really here nor there. Mm. Mane was shocking for Liverpool. He didn't, didn't really do much in the He's game. He's had a bit of an odd season though, Mane, because I remember watching him against Tottenham and he should have scored two or three goals when they were three against two up front or something like that. Yeah, and he's, he's not taking his chances. I thought... It was both teams that had set up not to lose the game. and That's the thing. Last season it was... a. Uh, swashbuckling play by Liverpool it was everyone last season Liverpool had to score because the defence was that poor they had to go all out attack and score as many goals as they could last season this year we sorted out the defence it seems to be more measured re- approach this year for Liverpool and I think yesterday it was both teams that were respecting one another and then it obviously it ended up in the nil-nil because nobody took the chances at the other end Mahrez had a few opportunities so did Aguero then you had obviously like I mentioned Salah mm. for Liverpool and uh, Mane had a couple of half chances but no one really took the opportunity. Penalty, when I was when I was there, I thought, was it a penalty? Well, couldn't really tell. When I come home and looked at it on TV, yeah, it's penalty all day long. Good decision by Atkinson to make up the ground and give the big call. And obviously, Mahrez, as you said, thought he was playing rugby. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, overall, though, I, I, I sense for Liverpool fans that it was probably a missed opportunity because, obviously, it was at Anfield and... You know, it has become a fortress over the last couple of years under Klopp, where it's not very easy for any team to go there uh, and win, especially Man City. So, did you feel as though that's three points wasted in terms of come the end of the season? Because at this moment in time, we could see at least three or four teams going for this Premier League title. Well, a draw against Manchester City is always a good result, and it continues the run of Man City never winning at Anfield since 2003. Oh, really? Uh, Liverpool haven't conceded a league goal at Anfield since February, if memory serves me correctly, and they've not lost in one and a half years, apparently, at Anfield in the league. Obviously, we lost to Chelsea every week in the Cup. Mm. But I think it's it's important to keep results going. It's good for morale that we didn't lose this game. But at the same time, as a Liverpool fan, I'm thinking we should have really gone for this. And at times, City was struggling at the back. And I think if we had, say, we were playing the way that we did last season, we would have got the victory. But... It's one of those things, isn't it? It's football. Yeah, it's, it's, well, you never know. You never know. I'm trying not to be overly critical. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, do, do you feel as though for Man City, despite the penalty miss, they'll they'll take that result? Yeah, I think so, definitely. So going away to a title rival, managing to get anything from them really is a is a bonus for them um, because they were able to get the job done against Liverpool last season at home at the Etihad. So. Uh, you would think they would have confidence that they would be able to do it again later on this season. And of course, last season at Liverpool, they lost by four goals to three. So to get a draw this time around is an improvement. And as Guardiola said uh, in his press conferences and his press interviews after the game, you know, we we lost last season, we drew this season. Maybe we can improve and eventually win at Anfield next season when we when we visit again. So you know, it's it, it is like still <laughs> that that building process. For City, still, despite the fact that they won the title uh, last season by a record attempt, but you know they still got they still got a lot of obstacles obstacles to overcome. Um, I think though you have to give credit to the defensive performances, as Joe said um, from yesterday. Both teams were on point in terms of the defending. Um, Liverpool um, is 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 something that I have, have noticed that they they have the inability to kill off some games. Um, it was in, like that in, last season, though. I, I thought at times, so yeah, in, in terms of. 
they would have convincing wins, but as you say, there, there was times like that as well. Yeah, there was times like that where they had the inability to really kill off games because they couldn't really bag enough goals in the fixture in order to, to see it out. Um, and I think the, the fact that, that they weren't able to convert their chances today into to proper opportunities because of how good the City defence was shows that they still need to really get that free front free really cohesively working together properly rather than thinking, oh, because he's on a run, let's give him more of the ball or more off he's on the run, whatnot. Um, sure, they have to play to the strengths and the advantages and who's in form, but also they have to make sure that they're not passing up big opportunities in order to try and find a way into the game. Uh, for City, we already mentioned about the penalty debacle. Um, there was something about uh, Gabriel Jesus looking to take the penalty instead of Mares, and there was a bit of a, a conversation between the two before Mares took the ball, eventually ball off him, and Bernardo Silva was, uh, um, you, you know, um, con consoling uh, Jesus because he couldn't couldn't take the penalty. But, but that, that 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 really annoys me though, not just for Man City, but a lot of. Big teams seem to never rely on their striker well, to take a penalty. Guardiola said after the game that it was supposed to be Hazes was supposed to take the penalty, but Mares took it instead and he apologised to... Uh, well, Guardiola apologised to uh, Hazes mm -hmm. after the game and I'm pretty certain Mares would probably would have been distraught in the changing room afterwards because he missed the, missed the opportunity. But, you know, there was this whole... This was, there's been this whole debate ever since then as to who who is the actual penalty takers for... Uh, different teams it, and whatnot. Because straight away, I mean, I don't know if Aguero was was he. He was on the pitch. The he was. He, wasn't, he was the one that came off for Hazus. I mean, I, I know he wasn't that there. But me. Straight, sorry. Oh no, it's all right. I was just saying it's. He would. He would you'd think yeah. He'd go. For what it. I said yesterday when I was watching the game is, um, in that kind of situation against a team like Liverpool and the stakes that are at at at, at cost, uh, I would want an experienced and veteran player to take it. And the perfect player for me would have been David Silver in that situation. Yeah. Because he was on the pitch at the time. He can take penalties. And I'm pretty certain he probably would have slotted it away because he knows how to deal underneath that pressure. But giving it to Mares, you know, okay, he's won the Premier League at uh, Leicester City. But in truth, he's trying to break into the squad. His confidence is probably still quite low because he's not doing that, not getting the starts despite the big money move over the summer. And then he goes and misses a penalty. So it's probably even worse for him now, right now. I so... Maybe I mean it could be worse. I mean I remember when Bayern Munich had a goalkeeper that would take their penalties, Mr. Mm. Butt, and he would actually run back uh, to his goal. And then at one point he was celebrating too much that the opposite team kicked off and scored from the halfway line. So it could be worse. It could have been. It could have been. Uh, oh God, what's his name? The Man City goalkeeper. I forgot his name. What Edison? Edison. It could have been him taking it instead, but yeah. uh, instead he, he he stuck behind his between his sticks. But but Joe, deep down, are you, are you happy with the result? Uh, yes and no. It at the moment I'm fairly content with the result because obviously, like I said, draw against City is good. Mm. Whether later on in the season it'll come back to haunt us, and I'll look back on this with anger. <laughs> um, you got to do that's better. That's actually a phrase for a song, I think, isn't you, it? You've got to <laughs> do better at Man City. Yeah, you lost six or five one there last five, time. Five nil last time. But the thing was with last season, like I mentioned before, the first half an hour, I think it was half an hour when Manny got sent off. At the Etihad, it was a pretty even game. And then when Manny got sent off, City overpowered the 10 men of Liverpool. I think whether this 0-0 draw will come back to bite us later on in the season, I don't know. But at the moment, I'm quite content with the draw because if you said to me before the game, you say, would you take a draw? I would have done. 0-0, mm. no. But I would have taken like a score draw. So whether it will come back to bite Liverpool later on, I don't know. But always a good result against the defending champions to get the draw.